Diabetes, commonly known as high blood sugar, is a condition where the blood glucose level is too high than the normal limit. As we all know, glucose is the major substrate used for energy production in cells in order to maintain their normal function. Human pancreas secretes a specific hormone, called insulin, which makes the uptake of glucose by the cells easy. So in diabetes, what happens is that due to a defect in the secretion of insulin, or a defect in the cellular response to insulin, glucose cannot enter the cells as usual. So as a result, glucose builds up in blood, leading to high blood glucose levels, or hyperglycemia. There are two major types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, pancreas does not produce enough insulin to promote glucose uptake by the cells. And, this type of diabetes starts early in life, typically before 20 years of age. Because these people have no insulin, they have to take insulin as injections throughout their lives. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas secretes enough insulin, but the cells do not respond to it well. This is known as the insulin resistance. This type of diabetes usually appears in middle ages. And initially treated with insulin sensitizing drugs such as metformin, to reduce blood glucose levels. However, with time, pancreas secretes less amounts of insulin in these people too. So, later they have to take insulin as injections just like type 1 patients. Some classic symptoms of diabetes include the following. Polyuria, or increased urinary frequency, because now the blood glucose levels are high, and they should be excreted quickly from the body. Polydipsia, or increased thirst, to compensate for the loss of water due to increased urination. Polyphagia, or increased hunger, because now glucose cannot enter the cells, and the body thinks that the person should eat more to get more glucose. Weight loss, as a result of the glucose waste. Tiredness, due to the reduced energy production of the cells as a consequence of impaired glucose uptake. Other symptoms of diabetes include blurred vision and poor wound healing. It is important to note that except from poor wound healing, other symptoms occur as short-term consequences of diabetes. In addition to these symptoms, chronic diabetes will have additional complications as well. Moreover, symptoms of type 1 diabetes usually appear quickly, and symptoms of type 2 diabetes appear more slowly, and sometimes, may progress to long-term complications unnoticed. So, it is extremely important to have routine blood glucose checkups and other appropriate tests, as indicated by a professional.